name's Michael. Uh, I am not the fibber. <laughs> so, I have a story. This happened a few weeks ago. Two of my very close friends, Ben and Marissa, got married. Now, one thing I'm going to mention, I will, be, I will be changing the names of a couple of the key characters in this story just to protect their identities. So, Ben and Marissa get married. It's three weeks ago because they have a very beautiful wedding. It's at the Danes Building, which is somewhere in Center City. And then they have... A uh, wedding reception at Estia, a big restaurant on Broad and Locust. It's really fun. I've been friends with Ben for a really, really, really long time, so all these people in my life are there. It's really great. People I've known for forever, um, including my friend Maggie. Uh, I've known Maggie for since middle school, for forever. She's a really close friend of mine. She's to describe her. She's pretty tall, very beautiful. Uh, she works as a social worker. She's kind of a homebody lately. She doesn't go out much, but when she does, she like definitely can throw down and knows how to party. Um, and then she's she's been dating this guy Jordan for a couple of years. He's uh, he's very nice, also really tall, big tall black guy, a really nice guy. And uh, he um, he's like eight or ten years older than us, so I'm friends with him. But like kind of the, any distance you'd be with someone who's eight or ten years older than you, you know. And he's like my friend's boyfriend. Uh, so anyway, we're all at this reception. It's a lot of fun. We're wasted. It's an open bar. So everyone's taking shots and we're dancing. And at one point I'm on the dance floor and I see my friend Maggie. And I can tell when Maggie's wasted because she gets like really squealy. And she's kind of like her face gets all scrunched up. And she goes, Mikey Moo! And she calls me Mikey Moo when, uh, that's like her nickname for me. And she's like, Mikey Moo! I'm really drunk. I'm like, yeah, you know, I can tell. I could tell because she was not dancing well at all. Uh, and so I'm like, okay, well noted. Uh, Maggie's wasted. Good to know, you know, as are many of us. But uh, so party goes on at about one one a.m. The reception ends, and a bunch of us kind of head over to Notting Head Brewery, a couple blocks away, uh, to kind of have another hour of fun. Not everyone makes it, but a group there go there. And then after that, when the bar closes at two a.m. I get in a cab with my housemates and a couple of friends who live two two blocks away. And we go to my friend's house, who lives two blocks away, I live in West Philly, and go to his house to have a couple nightcap beers uh, before bed. Um, so in the cab, I get a call from an unknown number, and it's 2 a.m. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird, it's 2 a.m., unknown number, but I answer it anyway. And it is Maggie, and somehow, I don't know what happened, but Maggie is crying, and she's crying, she's like, my dear, I don't know what to do, I'm so afraid, I'm like, all alone in my apartment, I don't know where, uh, where Jordan is, I can't find him, I don't know where my phone is. She's just crying, she's like wasted, it's you know, kind of a bad situation. So I'm like, okay, all right, relax, Maggie, I'll, I'll help you out. But how are you calling me? And apparently she was calling me through Gmail. Like you can you know, call people through some Gmail service. I never didn't know you could do that before. But uh, so I'm like, okay, well, I will uh, like just sit tight, Maggie. I will help you. I will get your phone and your boyfriend. We'll you know, just relax, you know, stop crying. And, uh, I hang up with her. I'm like, okay, well, uh, I actually have uh, Jordan's uh, phone number, so I uh, call Jordan, and he doesn't answer. So uh, I figure maybe Jordan has Maggie's phone, and that's where it is. So I call Maggie's phone, and that also goes to voicemail. Um, so I'm like, all right. Um, and then I realized I, you can't apparently call those Gmail phone numbers back. It's only a one-way thing. So I'm like, I have no way of relaying this information <laughs> for Maggie. So she'll be okay. So I go back to my friend's house, and it's... You know, it's 2 a.m. and we're 2.30 at this point. We've been drinking beers and, you know, winding, winding down. The wedding night's winding down. And uh, I've given up on Maggie. When I get a phone call from Maggie's phone, I'm like, oh, well, weird. So I answer it. I'm like, hello? And I hear a voice on the other end. Hello? Uh -huh. And I go, hi, who's this? And the voice goes, this is the police. Is this Mikey Moo? <laughs> Yes, she put me on the phone as Mikey Moo. Yes, this is, this is Mikey Moo. Uh, I'm, I'm Maggie's friend, and um, she she actually told me she lost her phone. Like, so do you have the phone? And they were like, you know, he was like, yeah, someone, uh, your phone was stolen. We have the phone at the police station. I'm like, oh, great. Well, you know, can I come get it? What can I do? I know it's late. Can I help somehow? They're like, no, we need Maggie to pick up the phone. I'm like, okay, well, I will work on getting Maggie, and I will... I'll call you, call you back. Can you leave the phone on? He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, oh, bye. So, hang up, Then I don't really know what to do, so I try calling Jordan again, why not? And I call Jordan, and it's like 2.30, and this time, Jordan answers, hello? 
I'm like, hey, Jordan, it's it's Michael. Um, it's, do you do you what where what's going on? Where are you? She's like, man, I'm in jail. Huh? I'm like, what do you mean? You're, you're in jail? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm in jail. They got me. I'm like, you're you're in. What do you mean they got you? What are you? Do you like Maggie doesn't know where you are. We know where. Like, are you okay? What what happened after this wedding? He's like, I, I don't know. Don't worry, I'm in jail. They, they got me. I'm in jail. I'm like, well, okay, well, where in jail? I don't know. I don't know where. I don't know. He's clearly like wasted and in jail apparently, and just uh, doesn't know where he is. I'm like, can you describe where you are? He's like, it's it's like a basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, um, okay, uh, I want to help you out, Jordan. I want to get you out of jail. Like, what can I do? How can I? I was like, um, you know, what like what happened? What did you do? He's like, man, everything they say I did, I did. <laughs> just go to sleep, Mike. I'm like, don't worry about me. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. It'll, I'm in jail. I'm in jail. He's just kind of like speaking nonsense. And uh, so I'm like, oh god. Well, uh, what? then he occurs to me, how do you have your phone if you're in jail? And so I asked him that. And he's like, I, yeah, I got my phone. I'm like, no, but I, uh, so I asked him, hey, can you get a security guard? Can you get a jail guard to come and you know tell you? He's like, no, then they'll know I have my phone. Like, oh, that's, that's actually a really good point, Jordan. So, uh, okay, can I help you? And he's like, he's just kind of still just saying nonsense. And I'm like, all right, he, Jordan's not being very helpful. Let's try someone else. So I like hang up with Jordan, who's on his phone in jail. And, uh, and it occurs to me, as, once I hang up with him, I, and I don't know what to do, how to get in touch with Maggie, and it occurs to me, maybe they, the police picked uh, him up, picked Jordan up thinking that he had stolen Maggie's phone and that he had Maggie's phone. And that's like, who stole Maggie's phone? It all like, came together to me. So I call Maggie's phone this time, and, uh, you know, the police officer goes, hello, it's the police. I'm like, hey, yeah, it's Mikey Moo, uh, hey. Maggie's friend, and, uh, so weird, okay, weird question, do you, did, Maggie's phone was stolen, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it was stolen. I was like, do you, do you have the person there who stole it? And the guy's like, the police officer's like, yeah, yeah, he's right here. I was like, his name isn't Jordan, <laughs> by any chance, is it? And the guy, the police officer goes, hold, hold on one sec, one sec. Hey! Are you Jordan? No, man, I'm not Jordan. I hear this on that, like, on the phone. <laughs> Do you know anyone named Jordan? No, man, I don't know anyone named Jordan. And then the guy comes like, oh, uh, yeah, it's not Jordan. <laughs> okay, uh, alright, so you, you didn't arrest Maggie's boyfriend who's in jail. And he's like, oh, it's in jail? <laughs> like, yeah, it's not your jail by any chance? He's like, no, no, not our jail. <laughs> okay, so, uh, uh alright, well, Keep the phone. I'll, I'm gonna go to some. I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna. He's like, good luck. All right. Okay. Thank you, police officer. So uh, Jordan is in some jail somewhere. Maggie's phone is in another jail somewhere else. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what someone stole it. I don't know who this man is who stole Maggie's phone. So I, I figure I have to go find Maggie at this point. So me and uh, my friend whose house I'm at, we like, walk like ten blocks to to Maggie's house and start knocking on her door. It was 3 a.m. at this point, I'm ringing the doorbell, and no one's answering. We don't really know what to do. We're knocking for like five minutes. We figure she must have just like passed out. She was really, really drunk. And uh, and so at that point, it's 3. I feel like I've done enough, and I go home and go to bed. Because you know, what are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> so I, the next morning, I wake up to a phone call from Maggie, from her phone. and. Uh, and she's just like, I'm so, 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 so sorry. I'm sick. I'm sorry about everything that happened last night. I'm like, yeah, what happened last night? Like, what? Well, she's like, first of all, um, Jordan was not, in fact, in jail. Uh, he was in the hospital um, being treated for alcohol poisoning and was just so drunk he did not know where he was. Figured he was in jail. Um, and so I was like, okay. So, um, so apparently at the end of the, the night at the, uh, the wedding reception, they had just kind of been so wasted. They were both just gone and like, kind of wandered in their own directions. Jordan just like slumped over and passed out somewhere on the street and got picked up and taken to a hospital while Ma Maggie <laughs> walks back to West Philly somehow. And then I guess her phone got stolen along the way. Those details were a little unclear even in the morning. But... Um, so she, Maggie's really apologetic, and she's like, I'm so, 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 so sorry. I'm like, hey, don't worry about that. That was like a pretty awesome adventure. Just uh, do me a favor, and if you're going to use me as your emergency contact, please change the name of your phone from Mikey Moo. <laughs> <laughs>